What's up guys? Welcome back. Uh, Happy New Year. Today is January 2nd, 2023. Right? January 2nd? Something like that, yeah. Uh, yeah, Happy New Year. Welcome back. I uh, hope you guys had a good New Year, good holidays and all that stuff, uh, whatever you celebrate. And uh, yeah, I guess just kind of jump back into it real quick. Um, again, short update video. I'm just going to sit in front of the car. Uh, I'll probably have some like pictures for stuff that I'm referencing. She is back up and running again. No weird noises anymore. Um, if you checked out my last two videos about it, first one was about the noise. And then in the second video, I gave an update saying, hey, this is what I'm going to try out. This is what I've already tried. Um, and yeah, now I'm, I'm sitting here telling you guys uh, that it's all good. Uh, the issue was the crankshaft pulley at the very bottom. So. Even though in the first video's description, I did mention that I checked through the pulleys. Um, the one thing that I never really thought about, because frankly, I, I don't know what the hell I'm doing anyway. The crankshaft pulley would kind of fall apart. Uh, again, I don't really know the, the technical terms. I can probably search it up and I'll, I'll put pictures of what I found too with my, my old pulley. But um, I had to replace that. The actual like metal part where the... Uh, I guess the, the serpentine belt sits on, that part, that metal ring, outer ring, whatever, separated from the inner part, which is like made of rubber, um, that all kind of separated. <laughs> and uh, that outer ring, I guess, was scraping against the timing chain cover. So uh, again, I'll, I'll probably have pictures up on screen of what it looked like. And even though all it was was the crankshaft pulley, I already had the timing chain, I already had the guides, I figured, I might as well just finish the job now. Uh, the car is currently sitting at 70, just over 75,000 miles, so I figured why not, got it all done. Um, the biggest pain in the ass was the uh, the actual bolt that holds in the crankshaft pulley. <laughs> um, that was a struggle. That was a pretty big struggle. Um, I tried getting the, uh, the little tool that holds it in place and taking another bar and pulling it apart just to see if I can loosen the bolt, but no. Um, my buddy actually he gave me uh, his, his impact gun that, that does does quite a bit. Um, I ended up buying one of my own as well after that. <laughs> Whether I need it a lot or not, I don't really know, but hey, it's another tool. It's cool to have. Why not? Um, but yeah, even with that impact gun, um, I'll actually show you this. I was initially using a thin wall socket, thinking that that would be enough because, I mean, I figured bolt's a bolt, socket's a socket, whatever. Um, but even with this Bertha big, big chonker, this still wasn't enough, so I actually had to end up pairing it along with a tool that I had ordered by accident, kind of. Um, it came with the actual, the, the tool that holds the crank shaft pulley in place when you're trying to remove the bolt, but uh, it came with a weighted socket. Um, I, I really did not think to use this thing, but uh, I mean, I'm just gonna show it close. Uh, this thing right here is heavy as fuck. So yeah, this thing right here, half inch impact, um, did the job. I was nervous as hell doing it. <laughs> First time opening up a motor, um, I've helped a buddy motor swap a car before but I've never actually dug into internals so that was um, that was interesting if you're doing this for the first time it's nice to have a different car that you can use as daily while you work on whatever situation you've got going so that's uh, another tip I guess I'd, I'd like to give there for anyone who's thinking of doing a uh, pretty hefty job for their first time Definitely don't don't rush it. Make sure you check uh, owner's manual or maintenance manual, whatever it was called. You can find a copy for that 2000 online. Someone posted it. Um, yeah, besides that, make sure everything is uh, to spec. Make sure you do it right. Take your time. Don't rush it. As for what's to come for the S2000, uh, I think for a while I'll be riding it the way it is. I'm happy. Um, I've already put uh, probably like 200 miles within like the week or two after I made sure everything was good. Took it around the block the first two days, made sure it was all fine. Day after, my third day in, fourth day in, uh, 60 mile drive just for the hell of it. 
we had VTech, have fun, uh, no leaks, no nothing, nothing weird. Uh, so yeah, she's all good. Um, but in the future, I will be trying to clear up these headlights. Uh, they're a little bit hazy. They're not bad, but they're, they're definitely kind of yellowing. And then in some corners, they look a little scratched up. So I'll work on that. Uh, again, kind of first time doing that. So sanding it down, I guess, polishing it, whatever the hell there is. Uh, I'll have to figure that out, but I'll get to it. Other than that, I have a box for suspension. Very cool stuff. Um, again, <laughs> more, more learning. More learning, fuck around, find out, is uh, is gonna be the, the 2023 thing, I guess. Uh, so yeah, suspension, and then I've got a box of wheels up in the corner that you can't see. But um, I think for those wheels, I'll have to end up rolling fenders. I still don't know 100% if I'm down to commit to that, but at this point, honestly, I think I'm gonna keep the car very long term. Why not? Uh, I want to find a head unit that does CarPlay, and I, I found a few people mentioning online. Um, I think there was a Sony head unit, and then there's some other head unit that people are referencing that so they so that's good. Um, we'll see which one I go with. Probably the Sony. I'm kind of a fan of more, so it is what it is. But we'll get to that when we get to that. Everything else is pretty much going to stay the way it is. I can't really find anything else that I'd like to change or feel the need to change. Again, quick update video for the S2K, just to give you guys a heads up of what was going on. Um, I do appreciate you guys who were reaching out, uh, giving suggestions, or even like asking just to see if I found anything. So again, TLDR, it was the crankshaft pulley. Uh, the thing kind of fell apart, and again, I'll have pictures. I should have kept the actual pulley to like, show you guys on video, but I'm an idiot. I threw it away already. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you guys are having any like weird issues, again, check pulleys. That's gonna be like your best bet. Even if it's pain in the ass, try to check the crankshaft pulley. Um, that's a good lesson learned, I guess. Still glad that I got everything else done. Um, again, all running well. Can't complain. But uh, yeah, I guess next video I make maybe will be me doing the headlights. Um, I don't know. Oh, I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Thanks for checking in. Bye.